Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a review and giveaway on the new Wet n Wild limited edition spring Queen of My Heart collection. I was so excited when this collection came out and I was on the hunt to find these highlights because I just thought they were so pretty. I saw Wet n Wild, you know, post all their Instagram posts about these and I was so excited to try these out. So like I drove all over the place to find them and I could not find these things anywhere. I was able to pick up the um, eyeshadows and the cheek and lip tints, but I could not find these or the Kabuki brush anywhere. So I had to order these online and while I was online ordering the highlights, I went ahead and ordered the whole entire collection to give it away to you guys. I'm giving everything away in the collection. The little kabuki brush, the, what is this called? The Perfect Pal Lip Palettes, both of the highlights, and then all three of the eyeshadow trios, and all three of like these cream blush, well cheek and lip tints. And it is going to be an international giveaway, so if you would like to enter my giveaway, just check out the rules down below and just do all the things that I have for the rules to enter the giveaway. And I will have this giveaway opened until next Friday. I'll have the giveaway opened until then, and then at that time I will randomly select a winner and I will reply back to your comment on this video and then you'll have 48 hours 48 hours to reply back to me I'll also try to put the winner in my Friday's video that day so just watch that video and also come back to this video on that Friday to check to see if you are the winner I'll also put it in the description box of this video but I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the review of these products the first things that I did pick up and I was really excited to get um, were the three trios from this collection and you have holographic hearts Will You Marina Me and Heart and Heavy. And I think all three of these trios are super pretty and nice for spring. I'm going to be doing tutorials on all three of these trios. So those videos will be up next week, like next Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will do tutorials on all three of these. When I first picked these up and swatched them, I didn't think the quality was as good as their normal color icon trios, like in their normal line. But after I had been using these a few different times, I guess like after I got that first layer of eyeshadow off, they are really pigmented and I feel like they are great quality eyeshadows. So this is the trio in Holographic Heart swatched here on the back of my hand and this one is definitely my favorite one out of the collection just because you can create some really pretty everyday looks with this trio and you can also create like nice going out smoky looks with this so I just think it's so pretty you have a beautiful gold a nice bronze and then this really pretty matte mauve so this is the next little trio in heart and heavy and as you can see this color down here which is the top one in this palette it doesn't really swatch the best and this one does doesn't have the best pigmentation in this palette but the other two colors this really dark egg eggplant purple and this really pretty pink like they both swatch really nice and I have created some really pretty looks with this one so yeah that's this one in heart and heavy then the last eyeshadow trio this is in the shade will you marina me and you have a really pretty gold a nice matte kind of dark bronzy brown and then a really pretty just like teal and I think that this little trio is probably my second favorite in the collection. I think you could create some really pretty like summertime, springtime looks with this one. The next things that I was super excited to get in this collection were, whoops, dang it, I just got it on my pants. <laughs> So like I said, the next things I was super excited to pick up were these Wet n Wild Mega Glow Cheek and Lip Tints. 
and I love, love, love these. They are so pretty as blushes, and they also double as really nice lipsticks. Today, I'm wearing the color in Crush Upon a Time, which is a really pretty coral, like bright orangey coral. I have that on my cheeks today as my blush, and I'm also wearing it as my lip color. Whenever you swatch these, they definitely have like a lipstick consistency to them. So that's why they double as a really nice lipstick that you can wear and they do last for an okay amount of time I wouldn't say that they're super long wearing as a lipstick they're almost like a lip kind of gloss sort of thing or like a like a lip balm they work really nice over lip liners though so if you pair it with a lip liner it will last longer the next one is in the shade kiss me if you can which is a really beautiful pink so I just swatched that one there. Such a pretty color. And the way that I like to apply these is with like a synthetic brush, blush brush. So like with the Wet n Wild blush brush, they apply really nice or any type of synthetic brush, like the Sigma Angle Kabuki F84. That's what I use to apply the Crush Upon a Time shade today. It works really good at applying these. The last color in this collection is Flirt on the Street, which is like a darker coral. So I'm just gonna swatch that one there. So as you can see, like Crush Upon a Time is like lighter and brighter, and Flirt on the Street is a little like darker. Both of the colors are really pretty. I had these in my March Beauty Favorites and I really enjoy these so much and I highly recommend them. I really like these just because they double, you know, you can use them for different things like for your cheeks and your lips and I love makeup products that you can get more than one like. You can use them for more than one thing. So yeah, if you've been on the hunt or on the fence about these, I definitely recommend them. Um, if you don't really feel like you need both of these, I guess it just depends. If you want one that's like lighter and brighter, go with Crush Upon a Time. But if you want something a little deeper, maybe go with Flirt on the Street. And then Kiss Me If You Can, like I said, is just a really pretty bubblegum pink. So yeah, love all three of these. With the highlights, like these were the main things that I was going out to find in the collection, but I had the hardest time finding, finding these. And I know a lot of you guys had a hard time finding these too. That's another reason why I wanted to do this giveaway. But I also wanted to let you guys know that if you have been wanting these and haven't been able to find them, you can definitely order them online at Wet n Wild's website. Now, I was super bummed though when I first ordered these because the lilac to reality i got it and it was a busted so i had to contact wet n wild to send me another one that wasn't busted so they sent me this one here and i told you guys that i would update you all and let you know how that turned out um but yeah they definitely got back with me and sent me a new one that wasn't busted so that was really their customer service was really good about that like at first they didn't get back with me right away but I had to send them all my information and I sent them a photo of this being busted and then they got back with me and sent me you know a new one this is in the shade the sweetest bling and then this one is in lilac to reality so I have lilac to reality on my cheekbones today it is a very intense lilac color and I also put it as my eyeshadow like lid color today so if you're one of those people that you like a more natural looking highlight I don't think that this is the highlight for you because it is it's definitely you can definitely tell that it's not a natural highlight it is really pretty though if you do want something different and maybe if you picked this up already and you don't really like it as a highlight, try it out as an eyeshadow because it is a gorgeous eyeshadow color, as you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch this one. The packaging on these are super cute, though. I love how it has the little heart, and I love the white on the packaging, like with the eyeshadows and also with the, the cheek tints, the lip and cheek tints. So let me go ahead and swatch Lilac to Reality. So that's what it looks like on my finger. So you can see like it's a really intense lilac purple color. And I'll just swatch it here on the back of my hand. So that's what it looks like there. So it is very intense. It's a bluish purple. 
and it does kind of have some chunky shimmer in it. I like the Sweetest Bling better than Lilac to Reality. I find that the Sweetest Bling looks a little bit more natural on the cheeks. So whenever I swatch this on my finger, that's what that one looks like. So as you can see, it looks more of like a natural kind of pinkish tinted highlight. It's not necessarily a natural highlight because it does have chunky shimmer in it, but it looks more wearable than Lilac to Reality. That's what I was trying to say. If you're one of those people that don't like chunky shimmer, you probably won't enjoy this, but if you do like that really intense highlight with like chunky shimmer in it, I think you will really enjoy this. I'm not going to be doing a review on the Perfect Pout lip palette just because I didn't buy one of these for myself because I wasn't super drawn to it. So, and I didn't want to get something that I really wasn't like drawn to just to do a review on. I'm not really into lip products that you have to use like a lip brush or use your finger to get them out of the product. Like I just know I wouldn't use this very much, but I am giving this away. And then the last thing that was in this spring collection is the Kabuki brush and it comes in cute packaging. It came in this little box, which I thought was super cute. I have used this a couple of times. It is so soft and it looks super cute and pretty like all of the Wet n Wild makeup brushes how it has like the white with the pink little top bristles. So I think it looks really pretty. Now if I had to compare this to my e.l.f. Kabuki brush, I still prefer my e.l.f. Kabuki brush over the Wet n Wild one just because this Wet n Wild one is not near as dense as the e.l.f. one. Like if they would have made this one as dense as my e.l.f. brush, I would have liked it just as much because it is super soft. Just like the e.l.f. one. So, so soft. So, unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I do like it for like blending things out just because it's, you know, soft and you don't need a super dense blush. <laughs> you don't need a super dense brush for blending things out, but I still prefer my e.l.f. one over this, so if you have the e.l.f. one and you've been curious about this one, I would say maybe skip on it because it's not super, super dense, which is just so unfortunate. Hopefully, they will improve this brush and make it more dense, and then I think it would be perfect. So those were all of the products from the Queen of My Heart Limited Edition Spring Collection from Wet n Wild. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to enter my giveaway to win all of these products today, plus the lip palette, then just follow my rules down below. And like I said, I will be doing tutorials with all of the trios, so just stay tuned for that. I hope that you guys have an awesome day. Bye-bye.